Even now? No. It usually comes when I'm all alone. Reasons I said you're gradually turning into a madman. Yes, because you alone hear the song and you equally dance to it. Yeah, you better watch it because I don't have control over it. But you can control the way you move your body to the rhythm, I suppose. Why does my best friend not understand me? How can she call me a mad woman? Hey, you're my only one. I talk about my aqua. You don't give me that. Trust me when I say this. I will not bother you about this matter anymore. If you do not discuss this with me, tell me. Which other of your friends will you discuss such delicate issue with? You know what? Let's just forget about all of these people. Let's forget this. Agbama! Agbama! Ujumwa, can I do? I was at your hut earlier and your mother told me you already left for the stream. Who's on me? I'm out of here. Is she okay? Home. 
Is that one home? Aboma. Juma, please, I'm very busy right now. Aboma, please. Are you okay? Don't I look okay? You look okay, but your attitude does not. Mm. Aboma, you no longer visit me at home. Mm. We don't even hang out together as friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we not friends again? You have said it all. I no longer visit you. We no longer hang out as friends. Does that connote that we're still friends? Are you that daft? Agoma, did I do something wrong? Eh? Ujumwa, I will rather go solo than be with someone that stabs me at my back. That, 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 that castigates me behind my back. I can't be with you. And let me warn you, I don't want to see you around here again. Inuke! Agoma! Eh! Big boy! Imagine the rubbish. What does she think she is? She had the ghost to come to my house to ask me that stupid question. I'm even disappointed at you for even listening to her. It was because of the friendship we shared now. What rubbish friendship? Was she thinking about the friendship when she went about saying all those rubbish about you? Nah, I don't blame her. I blame myself. I blame my level of tolerance. The same quality I inherited from my grandmother when I married. Please leave your grandmother out of this. I blame you for not sweeping her out of your compound. Hey. Why are you taking this personal? Ujungwa offended me, not you. Aboma, you are my friend. And I care. Anyone who offends you, offends me too. You know that. I know and I appreciate it. Thank you for always having my back. It's okay. Yeah, sit down. I am happy you have realized how poisonous a snake Ujumwa is. Please sit. Let me get you food. Oh. You should have swept her out of your company. I have heard. She will not come back again. Stops now. Hey, that song is so melodious. I can resist all things, but the ought to dance to that song, I cannot. Hey, Abuma, please stop this madness. What is all this? Nebiko, don't refer to it as madness. Oh, don't. That song is intense. And as a good dancer of Adabowe, I had to dance when the music is moving. Biko. Hey. Abuma, please, you have to stop, at least not here again, before people will think I, I, I brought you here to drive you crazy. <laughs> Just admit it, you cannot shake it, you're a bad dancer. Sit down, you need to get me. Hey, Abuma, you're, you're, you're oh, beginning man. to scare me. That scares you, oh? You made this one for me. Hmm?
How do I continue like this? Eh? It is becoming more constant. I cannot resist the urge to dance whenever I hear it. The worst is that no other person hears this song, so they see me as a lunatic whenever I hear it and dance. Grandmother, did you actually speak through a way for your man? Did you teach Ozobiel the song in his dream? And did you send him to Adabowale to meet with me? What do you want me to do? you have lost it i will say it again and again you have lost it my friend i have not lost anything if you put yourself in my shoes you will understand in what shoes why are you bent on making yourself look stupid you went to mudioka to do what exactly my grandfather who was there when he spoke is dead i had no choice than to go and look for obwe fiobalo i had to travel to umudioka to look for him and when i got there they told me he died last year I am so devastated right now. Good for you. Good for you, he is dead. Maybe you will come back to your senses now. Who's on me? Even if Obuefi Obalo is dead, what about the man from Umwiz? What about my inability to get him off my mind? What about the song he sings for me? I want to get, I want to get this straight. What exactly do you want? The man or the song? Hey! For the very first time, you ask a credible question. My friend, I will not lie to you. I will tell you as it is. I cannot get that man out of my head. Even if I try to shut my ears from hearing the music, he is still on my mind. You... You're here in Adamo when you're thinking of a total stranger that came singing a string song to you. And what does that make you, if not a fool? Ozomi, I am not a fool. Don't call me names. He is not a total stranger. And the song he sings is a wedgley. And that and nothing. Aguma, you are losing it and you need someone to assist you regain your senses. Who some me? I am not insane. Stop saying that. I need to see that man again. He told me where he lives. It's just that my mother forbids me from going to Umwezu for anything. Obviously, she believes you're crazy. Are we not saying the same thing? I don't know what her reasons are and frankly, I do not care. It's not my concern. What I'm concerned about is seeing that man again because if I do not, I might just go crazy. Ah, thank the gods she's finally admitting that she's no longer the Aboma I used to know. My take in this, if your mother forbids you from visiting Umezu for any reason, then I advise you forget that man and take him off your head. Meanwhile, are you not going with me to Chichi's hut again? Okay. I already know what the answer is, but please do not come asking for your own share of the meat that will be divided amongst the maidens. Uzo, did you say Aboma is all right? Yes, she is. Why? I'm just wondering why she didn't come to help Uchechi in cooking. Maybe she's just jealous of Uchechi. Uzo! Jealous? Why would she be jealous? Why would she not be jealous? Why would a woman not be jealous? Having rejected all those suitors. And it doesn't seem like any is coming anytime soon. So tell me. Why would she not be jealous of Uchechi getting married? Mm-hmm. Listen to yourself. She rejected the suitors, not the other way around. So tell me, 
why would she be jealous that another maiden is getting married? If you ask me, who do I ask? I'm just worried about her attitude towards me. Uzo, imagine Agboma telling me that I am castigating her behind her back. Me? Why would I do such a thing? And why are you getting yourself worried over that? Why? Uzo. Why are you walked up? Uzo, Uzo. Uzo, listen. We have been friends all our lives. Tell me, why would I castigate Agboma for anything? Why? It's just, it's just, why would she have this wrong... Oh. I can't even comprehend. I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Where are they coming from? I don't get it. Ujumwa, I advise you think about other important issues. Like how to get a man for yourself. Just like Ibe is coming to see Buchechi's parents today. And as for your friendship with Abomba, I think you should stop forcing yourself on someone who does not want or care about you. Meet me inside. Ajako, are you not supposed to be inside but you're doing what you know best? And what do you think I know best? Why do I sense anger in your voice? You know makeup more than us, so we give it to you. I expect you to leave us while we do the cooking. Go inside and assist put your chin and makeup. If you ask me, when you have the point. <coughs> what useless points does she have? <coughs> oh my god. What will you have us do? Nothing, just go back to where you're coming from and allow us to do what we are doing. Did you just talk to me? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Did you? No, no. Hey, would you want? I want to hear it a second time. Did you just talk to me? Who's all you? Is she? No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. I want to know. This is. Do not do anything that will waste your job. I just want her to say it a second time. Can you just talk to me? I can bet my life that when this food is done, it will come out not being tasted. I want to hear. I want to hear. Oh, Maka. Korea. Korea. When this food is done, it will come out not being tasted. Can you just talk to me? I don't know. Don't I hey. Papa, I have missed you so much. What took you so long? That is because you and your mother refused to go to the settlement with me. And I did all the farm work alone. But you hired three men with you. What happened to them? No hired man can do another man's job like him. They were there, but I was doing everything alone. <laughs> I, was doing almost everything. I trust you. I trust you and your strength. Okay, Nam. Uh, it is good to have you back. Bro. Thank you so much. Uh, At a point, I was contemplating coming to the settlement to look for you. <laughs> look what I want, my, I want my, you come to the farm. And that should be your next life. <laughs> anyway, how are you people doing? We are very well, Papa. Uh, what about your mother? Where is she? She went to Okekugu's house. His daughter Uchechi is getting married today. Really? Yes, Papa. What are you doing at home, yeah? You I should have been there to celebrate with I you. was waiting for you. Come and rest. Come inside. Come and rest. Then we can go and join them. <laughs> <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know. Why should I manage to do that? I don't know. But I think she's unhappy Igwe Julie died with her. It should not be so. The man that said she appeared to him. What is the connection? Nothing is clear at the moment and that is because mother has refused for me to take things further. I need to meet with that man to get more details. And why is your mother stopping you? I don't know why. I am not happy about it. I need to meet with him to get some details from him. There's something about that man that fascinates me. So she didn't even wait for you to settle before telling you her stupid tale. 
if anything, the so-called tale sounds interesting and not stupid. Really? Yes. So, what makes it interesting? That a, a total stranger signed a Gwejule. Or, or, or that he equally claimed an old woman who Abomanan and believed to be one Manare taught him the song in his sleep. What kind of rubbish is that? At least, there should be a chance to see whether it is true or not. Don't you think so? I don't understand what you mean. Obuefi. Obalu. Ozokwa told our daughter something to this effect credible people should not dismiss such things without any effort to find out if it is true or not why are you bringing a boy if you're into this eh? listen i will never ever support my only child to go on with this madness and i think you should stand with me why Give me one reason we should not give her support. One reason? Just one reason. It is total madness. It, it, it is crazy. I don't want it and so shall it be. I'm done talking about this. Good night. Oh, catch it for You have spoken now. We will not try a matter. I heard everything you said. I told you she would not agree. <laughs> How are you, my beautiful Odali? Oh, no, I am fine. Uh, have you seen Aboma? I've not seen her since I woke up. I need her to take the palm nose to Mkodi cell, but I've not seen her. Um, I sent her to my sister's house at Umudioka. You are joking, aren't you? Joke? Yes. Does this sound like a joke? How come nobody told me about it? Odali Igwe. You should always remember that this is my house and I am the head. Must I always take permission from you for whatever I do in this house? Huh? I, I, I know you are the head of this house, but she's my daughter. You can't just send her out like that. Okay, who is going to take the palm nose to Nkwa? Is it you? You carry the palm nose. Go to Nkwa market and sell the palm nose yourself. Go to Nkwa and sell the palm nose. I had expected you to do that yeah. since you sent her out. Yeah. He, he comes back and everything changes. Every time he's come, he comes back. That's how he, he will just turn everything upside down. I guess I will leave you for now. Are you sure we are at the right place? Yes, of course. Here is the place. Wait, it is only priests of deities and traditional healers that decorate their gates like this. Are you sure you have brought me to the right place? You are at the right place. Except it's not other beliefs. 
if the name you just mentioned now, Ozo Belezu, this is where you can find him. Yes. I think you see a prince. <laughs> no, no. His father is the Ezu of Umez. He ranks after the king. I will take my leave now. You go in and ask of him. How am I sure this boy knows what he's saying? I hope I'm not making a terrible mistake. <laughs> sorry, sorry about the hug, it was too tight. I, it's, I, it's okay, I liked it. I feel like hugging you again. You came. Why? I don't know why, maybe because I couldn't get you out of my mind. Me too. I've been longing to see you. If I knew your place, I could have come. Good to see you again. Uh, sorry, oh, come, come with me. A queen like you should not be kept with you. Come. Please. This is beautiful. Thank you. Why should I not be worried? Eh? What is the distance from here to Mudioka? Udala, you worry so much. Eh? You don't expect my daughter, Abomma, to just go to my sister's house, drop my message with her, and come back immediately. Why not? She left this house before I woke up. I have gone to the market and came back, and she not, she's not yet here. And you expect me not to worry? She doesn't usually visit my sister's house. And this is a very good opportunity for her to catch up with her cousins. Besides, you don't know whether my sister will hold her back for days. Nani, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Like why? Uh... That girl is my child. I have the right to everything concerning her. And who is denying you your right over your daughter? Who that I know so well? Ah ah, okay. You're back. Juma, you alright? Back from where? Hey, Ujumwa, back from where? Do you not know when someone does not want to talk to you? Or don't you know how to respect yourself? It worries me, really. The way you talk to me now. I think we are seizing the enemies. Agoma, it is me, Ujumwa. Your bosom friend. Bosom friend, my foot. <laughs> uh, What did I do? What is my offense? Where have I wronged you? Tell me. Udumwa Biko. Before I met you, I was on my way home happily. Let me go and think of things that would bring me joy. And you know, I am not in the mood for all these your pretenses. Agoma. Biko. Agoma. Agoma.
But mother, I, I didn't want to wake you up when I left very early in the morning. So when did it become an abomination at Dagbo Wele to wake up a sleeping woman? I didn't wish to do so, mama. And, and you're just coming back now. What happened to your sense of responsibility? Oh, mother, I hurriedly swept the compound before leaving this morning. There's nothing wrong with my sense of responsibility. Really? Ah, then you're back. Yes, Papa. You're welcome. Thank you, Papa. How is my sister? She's fine, Papa. My nephews and nieces? They're doing well, Papa. Good. Uh, please, get my snuff box for me. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Ma, I, I was still talking to that girl. Questioning her? Oh, Dalamaloma. Just rest. And allow that poor girl to rest from the long journey. Whatever. If I need this, you know where it goes. If I need this, you know one Kaliana. My name will be Fagazo. Can you tell me you went to Munzu? Is that not what I'm doing now? Because don't interrupt me again. No? Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. But your mother forbade you from going to Muizu. Do you want me to tell you this story or not? Okay, okay. Go on, please. <laughs> it was a royal treatment. At that moment, I felt like a princess. I felt like a queen. This is the song of the Muizu. It's love has never seen. You see the song of love This love is a mystery This love can move mountains This love can heal our wounds This love can create our things Who can stand in the way of love Oh, this is the song of love it's love has never seen This is the song of love This love is a mystery This love can move mountains This love can heal our wounds This love can create our things Who can stand on the way of love Are you okay now? Yes. The food was something else. Very delicious. But not as wonderful as the services that accompanied it. Talking about hospitality? It was on point. <laughs> At a point I couldn't feel myself anymore. I thought there was a princess living in me and I was watching her get entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are more beautiful and gracious than any princess I know. The treatment you just received is the treatment we give to everybody who comes around here. Any visitor, I mean, that is, irrespective Don't of their status. Wait. Yes, whether beggars or kings. But now, I want to give you the treatment meant for special people like you. Maidens! I am very positive that no princess has ever been treated that way. It was like heaven on earth. I can understand that. No, you don't understand. That is not it too. When I was ready to leave, he had something in store for me. Even though I was not even in the mood to leave. He bade me farewell with a special one. That was nothing like I've ever experienced. I wish I could do more to 
add more smiles on your beautiful face. You have done enough already. You know, the moment I saw you, my heart melted. I haven't felt this way for a woman before. I wish I could stay longer. But my people will be worried if I don't return home soonest. I will keep the memories of today in the deepest part of my heart. Okay, allow me add more memories to you. You've done enough already. Just one more. And what can it be called? Love at first sight. Or maybe not. Or who knows? We are soulmates. Because it felt as if we've known each other before now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, you met him once on your way from Firewood Hall. No, not that kind of meeting. Not at all. There's a special feeling I felt, like we're married or something. I felt that close to him. You don't mean it, do you? I do, my friend, I do. And the most important part of it all is that he feels exactly the same way for me. The moments I shared with him were the most memorable moments of my life. I can't wait to be in his arms again to for him to hold. Aboma, 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 you have to slow down. You really have to slow down. This sounds very strange to me because we do not talk about men like this. Exactly my point. It makes me now know that Osobial is different from every other man I've met. I have never felt like this for another man. My friend. There's a whole lot I am not telling you. Let me go home. Help my mother with the house chores. And when I come back, I will tell you everything as it is in my heart. Oh? Your mother has gone out. Go ahead before she returns. How did you see the man? What did you tell her about the song? The song. Yes. What song? A good love, of course. Was not that why you went looking for him in the oh, first place? Oh, yes. He performed a wedgule for me at the end of my stay there. But the most important thing happened when he presented the man of my dreams to me. What's your name? Papa. Yes. I looked into his eyes and I saw the man my heart beats for. And interestingly, he feels the same way for me too. No, there is no way this is true. A woman didn't come here, did she? She didn't tell me all that plays out in my head right now. 
but it's true. Your doubt cannot change anything. Aboma, your friend, seems to have found the love of her life. No, it can't be. How could she have? Even if she found love, it shouldn't be that man she just described to me. Ozobialu is one of the best men any woman can have. And that is exactly my problem. Why would a woman have a man before me? When I was only still single and searching. Can't do this. Imagine her guts. Coming to tell me she was treated like a princess. But that is true. Also, Bielo seems to love her so much. Like she said, it was love at first sight. And you should see them. They look perfect together. Stop talking, you silly voice. I don't know who you are. Just stop talking. Stop talking. Okay. You want to act a man shine brighter than me. I will not let her rub this on her face. <laughs> Mama, Mama, please wait. Who's <sighs> Mama? How are you? I'm well today, Mama. I don't think so. So what are you doing hanging around here? I hope you've not joined the league of these useless maidens who hang around stupid men. The gods forbid. Ah, Mama, you know me better than this. Well, people do change. So why did you stop me? I've been waiting for the day you walk past our compound, so I could brief you on what's going on. I'm very excited seeing you today. Really? You want to tell me something? So, has anybody forbidden you from entering my compound? No, Mama. What I want to tell you requires I meet you outside your court. It's about a bomb, Mama Man. What is it? I love a bomb so much that I will never watch her go astray without trying to save her. Mama. Who's on me? Spill it. What about my daughter? Mama, you see a bomb. Abomma! I'm here. Abomma, when did you grow old in this house? To, to obey! To hey. disobey me! Hey. Eh? What is it? I am still your mother you and you must do as I say in this house. What, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Mama? What have you not done wrong? What is the meaning of this? Do you want to kill my daughter? Now the meaning of that is that this girl here is a fool. She's not only disobedient, but she's a blatant liar. What did she do? And what lie did she tell here now? Get up and catch Abomma, where did you go to that day before I woke up? Where did you go? Of course she went to see my sister at Umudioka. She went to see your sister at Umudioka? Yes. Can you confirm that in nine? Can you confirm that she was actually there? Of course. I saw KK, my sister's husband, at the bush market this afternoon. And he confirmed that to me. Amen, Boji. Yes? Amen, Boji. Eh? For the sake of peace in this family, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to believe that what I'm thinking was what actually happened. What are you thinking? Did you support a woman going to Umu and use your sister as a cover-up? Did you? What kind of ridiculous question is that? Sis? It's not a ridiculous question. It is not. Did anybody tell you that she did not go to uh, Umudoka that day? I got what I am saying from a reliable source. Abomma, 
Did you go to Umuesu that day? Did you? M Mama, I, I, of course not. I didn't go to Umuesu. You know you forbade me from going there. Mm. How will I go there, Kwan? And Mama, you didn't go to Umuesu. I believe you. And Mama, can you narrate the same tale you gave to Zomili of me? About how you went to Umuesu and you were treated like a princess. Or did you make that story up? Did you? I want my young waiting. What evil spirit has possessed a woman? can't forbid her from going to Umwezu without any good reason. Is that why she flaunted my orders? You cannot make orders. In my house is my house. I am the head. I want my my daughter. I should have a say in her life. Nobody is disputing that. But can you at least be reasonable when doing that? How dare she disobey me in that manner? How dare? Udala, this is a case of our ancestors trying to restore what was lost. Why, Imanari? Once a Wajula to come alive again. The same a Wajula that gives hope to the hopeless and restores strength to the weak. In her wisdom, she has sent somebody. And that is exactly my problem. That is exactly my problem. Why must she send somebody from whom is to achieve that? You fat, foolish daughter of yours. Had the guts to develop feelings for that man. Who taught her that? You? Was that how you brought her up? Very good. May I know something here? Put me through. What is the real problem? Is it because this man is from whom is? Or that Aboma already likes him? Both. Omemboji, I am against both of them. Never. Never with my child, my daughter, or anybody related to me have anything to do with two ways of people. Again, me and Never. Serious. This is serious. This is serious. This is serious. Umwezu people are very good people. They are so caring when it comes to taking care of strangers. Umwezu people can give their food to total strangers and go to bed in empty stomachs. They are the best. But what does she have against Umwezu people anyway? Ah. Oh. Thank the gods. The gods answer prayers. I was hoping my strong friend would walk in and help me with this. Here she is. Please help me. Amoma, why do you look like you just fought with spirits? What is it? Not one more step forward. How could you do that, Uzomi? I trusted you to keep it to yourself. You keep what to myself? What is it? Now that you have told my mother and my house is on fire, are you happy? Now that my mother knows about my visit to Ozobial, have you been awarded the most gracious maiden in Adabowole? Or are you going to marry Prince Anayo of Adabowole? What? 
Are you telling me the truth or is this a joke? Mama, it's been bothering me. And you know I cannot joke with such a thing. Aboma did not only go to Mwezu. She was treated like a princess. And equally fell in love with Ozobia. Wait, wait. No. My daughter has not gone crazy yet. It's either the man has hypnotized her or she's just crazy. I'm going to sort that no, out. Mama, mama, wait. Mama, wait. I still care about Aboma. I know you forbade her from going to Moizu. And I know you did it for a good cause, which will benefit her. Hence, I didn't condone her disobedience to you. Zomi, thank you for your genuine care. I appreciate it. Mama, please. If she finds out I told you this, she will be very mad at me. I still value our friendship. Please. Don't worry about that. Have no worries at all. Now let me see how she will come back with more of her stupid love tales. I ask you, what do you plan to gain from what you have just done? Look at what you have done to me. My house is on fire because you could not keep your mouth shut. Aboma. There is a mix-up somewhere. Did your mother tell you I said anything? Did she tell you I said anything to her? Not only are you a betrayer, you're also a liar. No. How you managed to deceive me all this while is what I cannot explain. That is not a nice thing to say to a friend that has been there for you all this years. And yes. messes it up with a destructive gossip. I trusted you, Uzomili. I could trust you with my life. I, you cannot accuse me falsely. I ask again, did your mother tell you she got the information from me? Me, Uzomili? Even if she did not say she got the information from you, you are the only one that knows of that visit. But no other person in this kingdom knows of that visit but you, Zomi. But the winds have ears. Remember we said that in the open. Someone else must have heard about it and, and, and gone to your mother with it. Mama, I cannot hurt you. You know that. Indeed. And to answer your question, yes, my mother mentioned your name. She said you were the one who told her of my visit to Umwes and my consequent attraction to Ozobian. Now, I hope the winds did a good job blowing it away. Why would this woman do this after she promised me that I had no reason to worry? Achieved my aim. I'll find a way and make up with her. And now that Juma is out of her life, she will find it easy and necessary to accept me. What do you mean by such a woman? What has she done? You haven't even heard what I have to say about her. Oh, I don't need to. Because you have already said all that I needed to know. Listen, son. I want you to kill whatever thing you are trying to build with that maiden. Kill it immediately. 
Father, my meeting with that maiden was divine. I told you about a particular song that would not leave my lips. And how this maiden said something concerning the song. Oh, Osobian, what do you want to do? Become a singer? Take her all around town singing for her? I heard you even had her attended to. Like a princess? How could you, Osobiano? How could you? Sometimes I don't understand you. Hospitality is a part of our culture. Especially for people visiting for the first time. How can you now suddenly have a problem with that? Listen, son. You will do just two things for me. One. Never bring that maiden into my court again. And two. See her no more. Don't even ask me why. For what I have just said is a direct order from Ezio of Women. Father, what if the only reason I want to see her is because I love her? Ozobel, you have gone crazy. You have gone crazy. That is the only reason you have the guts to utter those words. When I have given an order, leave my face. Leave. Father, I am not interested in all these titles and ceremonies that make you stand out. I am me. And I will always remain me. I love this maiden. I will never stop seeing her because she has become a core part of my life. I want to be with what, what's all these restrictions? And she don't want that. You wouldn't let me be with her. Ozobia. Explain the meaning of that rubbish you earlier said that you have grown big enough to disobey me. You, Father, I have never disobeyed you. And that's because you come up with good ideas and reasons and explanations. But I'm sorry in this case, I will have to disobey you. You will do no such thing. And you will not marry that maiden from Adabori. Do you hear me? Why? You're not giving me any reason. That's the problem. Why don't you want me to marry her? What has she done wrong, Father? Moreover, you haven't even met the maiden in question. I do not need to see her. Before I know she is wrong for my son, she will see me. Okay, Father, fine. But give me a reason at least. Let me know why you are giving me all these restrictions. Let me even understand where you're coming from. Or at least allow me to bring her to you so you can see her for yourself. Over my dead body. Never. I do not want to see her or have anything to do with her. Walk out on me. No. No. You can marry any woman from any other place. But not at the way. No! Ujumwa, what is it? What are you doing here? I am here to see my friend. And who is that your friend? My friend's name is Agoma. <laughs> It is so painful that I am surrounded by people who claim they are my friends. People who do not know the slightest thing it takes for someone to be a friend. Our mama here would rather be alone than surround herself with people like that. Did you hear me? <laughs> You've been insinuating that I've been a bad friend to you and mama. Mm. I have examined myself. I cannot even see where I went wrong. Mm. It makes me very uncomfortable. That's why I keep coming. Our mama. So, what is the essence of this sermon? Even if it's the last thing you do for me, even if you don't want this friendship anymore, tell me where I went wrong. Tell me where I have offended you. Mm. Let me apologize to you because apologizing to you will make a whole lot of difference to me. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. I see. Since you claim to be so ignorant of what you have done, 
I will let you know. Oh, oh. sit down. Will you not say anything to me? Or will you let me stand there like a fool? Maka, what is it? I don't understand why you won't let me have my peace. Oh, you want to have your peace when I'm worried? If you are worried, then that's because you want to be worried. I don't understand how I am the cause or the reason or part of your worry. The news is everywhere that you brought a maiden into this court and treated her like a princess. And you say you have nothing to do with my worries. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, how, how is that your problem? How will you be this insensitive? I've lived in this kingdom with you all these years. We've been friends, Ozobialo. And not even for once have you treated me like a princess. Not even for once did you have your maids that walk here attend to me. Then this stranger comes and you did all that for hey, her. Hey, 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 point of correction. Abomma is not a stranger to me. Then who tell me? Of course, who is she? I will tell you. She's someone I love with all my heart. And I plan to spend a very long time with her. Abama, you are joking. You are joking. Tell me the true reason you've been avoiding me. <laughs> you and I know that I'm not a joker. I am only telling you this because I want you to stop disturbing me. Not like I care how you feel or how you react to it. That's a lie. In fact, that's the most ridiculous lie I've ever heard in my entire life. Uzamili could not have told you that. Well, she did. And at the time she told me, I believed she cared. Not until she proved otherwise. Ujuma, see, I do not want both of you to disturb me again. So leave me alone. Abama. I have not said anything concerning your refusal to suit us. Mm. I did not say anything to Uzo mm. I didn't even say anything to anyone else. So, 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 stories that touch the heart. Aguma, I am serious. Listen, we've been through this together. We've been in this together. You told me your reasons for rejecting each of these suitors and I stood by you the whole time. Now, why would I turn around and make it a topic of discussion? I among do me? not want to hear anything from you again, Uchuma. I don't even care about the answer to that question. All I want for you is to stop disturbing me. Leave me alone. It is not my fault to be my friend. You asked why I avoid you and I told you. What do you want from me again? Get up and leave, Biko. Leave my house. But right before I leave, I am coming to prove to you the kind of friend I have been to you. Nicolara, Manasa can see. Pass ya! Nicolara, don't have to cost. Look at that. What they want to do is to come close to you. Gather all the information and topics they want. So that when they go under the tree, they start to open their mouth and gossip. And use you as topic. Eh? Let me see you here again. I'm asking you, Zobialo, what do you mean by you will be with her for a very long time? I like her. Okay, wait, let me explain this to you. I love her. And if she truly feels the same for me, I will marry her. You will marry her? What about me? What happens to me? What do you mean, what happens to you? Yes, what happens to me if you marry her? Hold on. Amaka, I hope you're not having a in your head. Did I ever promise you marriage? Why are you saying this to me? You know how I feel about you. You know all I want is to be with you. And you're saying this to me. Wait, wait, please. I've had enough headache and drama for one day, please. If you don't mind, I need to go get some rest. We'll talk later. So, all this while, he felt nothing for me. 
all this while I have been fooling myself? No, I will not let this happen. I love him. I want him. I should be his wife. Yes, Amaka must be Ozobialu's wife. Nobody can stop that. Sorry, I was in the kitchen. Welcome. I hope all is well. All is well. Agwama's mother sent me. She says she wants to see both of us. You and I. I hope there is no problem. Well, I was curious too, but she didn't sound like there's any. I doubt that. I doubt. I doubt it because... Aboma came to my house the other day, barking like a dog. Because her mother found out she went in search of that man from Umuiz. Umuiz? Which man from Umuiz? Oh. I forgot she's not even talking to you. But by the way, what did you even do to her? I asked you the same question the other day. How have I offended Aboma? How did I offend her? <laughs> My dear, you don't need to worry about that, okay? Because being her friend is heartbreaking. No man will ever notice you. Because a woman will overshadow you with her witchcraft. And when this man starts developing interest in her, she turns them down. She will not let you get noticed and she will not accept them. Uzo. Please, let us go and answer her mother, the ever-elegant Udaligwe. Don't you think so? I hope it's not about that stupid Aboma's love at first sight. That man from Umuizu. Uzo. After treating our men like idiots, she thinks she will end in Umuizu. Okuya? Uzo, I have a whole lot of other things to take care of today. I'm coming, let me join. Please, Please. let's go. Mandeo. 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 She is. Yes, she's leaving. Uzo, let us wait for her. I am sure she won't take long. Let's go. So, Ujuma, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is simple. Who's on me? I need you to tell Agbomma here in my presence. Where and how you saw me with a group of ladies discussing her inability to accept a suitor. Ngwa. I am still waiting. And when you're done telling us that, I also need you to tell us where and how I told you that her inability to accept a suitor is as a result of the evil spirit she's possessed with. Take. Why are you keeping quiet? Say something. I have something to do at the back. Uh, uh, Amoma, I do not understand any of this. Did I actually tell you Juma said any of this? Hey! Please, man. Adabu. What? What did you just say? Are you going to deny this in my very presence? I'm, I'm not denying anything. It's just the way you people are presenting it, eh? Even involving uh, uh, Ajani, Mother Earth. Eh? This is, it's not fair. I'm your friend. And it's no good to conspire against a friend. I am vindicated. Uzomili, you are so pathetic. 
You can be this evil. How did it take me this long to realize who you truly are? So I wasted my time being your friend. Hey, to cut this whole story short. Aboma, you see all those things Uzomili told you that I said about you. She was actually the one who said all that. I was the one who was even trying to caution her. Clearing of the stream happens every Eke before the festival of Anamwe Madu. Whoever fails to participate must be punished. Including your friend Aguma, because I'm not seeing her here yet. There are no exceptions. Whoever the person is, my friend or enemy. But then the reason Aguma is not here. And what could that reason a be? A reason you already know about. Oh, how could I forget? She turned down another suitor yesterday after the evil spirit possessed her again. <laughs> look surprised. Agoma is my friend. I know her too well. I know what her problem is. She is possessed by a strong demon that does not want her to settle down. She has tried to fight it. But alas, she cannot. I'm shocked with your revelation. I had almost believed that something is wrong with that girl. Thank you, my sister. That is exactly the point. That is exactly the point. The mummy spirit in her is at work. And the worst is that those of us who are close to her end up being the victims. Because once she turns down these suitors, they end up not noticing anyone around her. Even when we try to press hard. Who's on me? Uzamili, are we here to clean the string as supposed, or we are here to discuss another? Answer me. We go take it easy. Why are you throwing this thing at me? Ha! Oh! Oh! Why won't I talk to you like that? Let me tell you. What you did was wrong. It was wrong. But the truth is always bitter. What stupid truth are you talking about? That I got my possessed by an evil spirit. Is that what you call truth? Of course. Haven't you noticed? Eh, the question should be the other way around. How could you possibly think such about your own friend? And you even said it publicly. Who's on me? <laughs> Some people are fully blind with their eyes wide open. I don't want to believe that you're comfortable with the fact that Aboma brings bad luck to us. Aboma brings bad luck to no one. Have you taken your time to find out why Aboma has been using those men? No, you haven't. I don't think so. Wait, let me tell you. That is what you're supposed to do as a friend. Not going about telling people wrong things about her. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. Chere, Magwagi, pray to God that she doesn't get to hear all you've been saying about her. Because if she does, it will be bad. Really, really bad. Hey! Aboma has to be caught to the man. She's really possessive. I can see. You know why you're talking to me like this because of Aboma? She has caught you, she has caught you. Now I believe she's fully possessed. Hey! Hey! You're talking to me like this because of Aboma? What did they go do? Hey! hey.
Oh, Uzomili, I cannot believe that you turned around and told all these things to Agwama when you're actually the bad person here. Eh, 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 Ujumwa, do not call me names. I'm not the bad person. I will call you names. You are a bad person and I will say it over and over again. I was even trying to be matured with you. But you were up to something and I did not even notice. <sighs> Aboma, you have to listen to me. You, you have to listen to me. I, I'm... Ujumwa is just being jealous because you no longer talk to her. Yes, I no longer talk to her because of the lies you fed me with. Well, congratulations. Because you succeeded in destroying our friendship. When you are the one I should have avoided in the first place. Avoid me? Ah, oh, Awoma. I am not as bad as you think. Usamili, you know what? Just get out. Get out of my father's compound and never you set your foot here again. Because if you do, that day I will avenge for all the damage you caused to my image. Get out! Get out! I'm very sad and wounded, Papa. It appears as if I've, I've been fooling myself all this while. You have not, my daughter. Don't say that. Listen, all you need to do is to work harder now that you have a competitor. But he, he sees me as a friend and nothing more. Listen, Amaka. Ozobelo sees you as a friend because you allowed it to be so. Or are you going to allow him to go on with this is new foolishness. You have an advantage over every other person because you know him. Because you know him like no one else does. You have been with him all your life. What do I do now? What do I do now? I'm confused. But he's beginning to avoid me. Amaka, no woman asks such question. If truly she loves a man, I believe you know what to do. Come to me if you need my assistance in any way. But do not allow any woman, whoever she is, to snatch the man you have nurtured all these years. I, Jesus of Umes, will never be happy if that happens. Ujumwa. 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 What is it? Why are you blocking my path, Agboma? Why? Abikono, I was trying to talk to you the other day in my house, but you left. I know how you feel, and I'm sorry about it. I want to apologize. Agboma, listen to me. I don't really have to be your friend if you don't want. I want. And you know I really like you. It's just that you suddenly told me a lot of things and that got me upset. And I was shocked that you, you could, you know, do, do such a thing to me. You should have confronted me. That is what real friends do. That's what you should have done. No, not treat me as if I'm, I'm, I'm one sworn enemy to you. I'm sorry. I know. I misbehaved. It's just... I'm, I apologize. Oh, no. Biko. Listen. Eh? I was just angry. I am not the best needy. I am not perfect as well. But there are certain things that my conscience would not let me do to anyone. Especially the ones I call my friends. I know. That's why I'm apologizing to you. So can you still call me your friend? Depends. Depends on if you won't hide anything from me again. Me? I won't hide anything from you again. So, new friendship for us. New friendship. Ha <laughs> ha!
Hey, Dalo. Oh, thank you very much. It's okay. So, will you follow me to the spring? Ah, uh -uh. in our juju. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll go with you. Oh, okay. I'll come and call you. Okay. When did you arrive? Could it be true after all? Are you really possessed? I wonder what is going on in that brain of yours. You're not happy I stopped you from singing. When did you become a singer by the way? Anybody can become anything at any time. Indeed. Let me remind you, my great grandfather, Ozu Madi of Umuizu, was the creator of Wamba Singing and Dancing Group. You never can tell if the spirit of Wamba has come to me. Indeed. And was this the same song you sang for the maiden from Ada Bowen? You missed her, don't you? Yes, I do. Every day, all the time. I wish I knew her house. I wish I could just see her. She told me she was coming back, but she never did. Uh, uh, Amaka, you, you, you can help me, okay? You can travel to Adabo when I make inquiries for me. You, you're a maiden, so nobody will suspect you. You're not serious. You want me to help you locate a maiden that is about stealing my man from me? Ozobialo, when have you started going to Awotolu's house to smoke weed with the rest of them? What maiden is about stealing which man from you? And why would you link me with Awutolo? Why are you bent on breaking my heart, Ozobialo? Why? You not only told me that you have feelings for another maiden, now you're asking me to go help you locate her? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're creating pictures in your mind, honestly. I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure I gave you any such impression that you and I are having anything, okay? I take you as my sister. Oh, maybe you did when you told me you're not interested in any woman. Yes. At the time I told you that I wasn't interested in any woman until Aboma came along. And then I fell for her. I, 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 I feel strongly for her and I cannot give it up, okay? Please, I am begging you, do not make any impressions about us. It, it won't work. I, I do not want us to ruin this years of friendship, okay? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Why are you staring at me as if you're seeing me for the very first time? What can I do? Okay, is it because of the dance and the music? Don't worry, they're nothing. Eh? Let us hurry up to the stream before those silly maidens will come mess the stream up. Oh? oh, you knew about that. Yet you wasted all our time dancing like a mad woman. Ujungwa, my dance was coordinated one. I was very coordinated. Was I dancing like a mad woman? Don't make me regret telling you the things I've told you so far. Aboma, the madness is not in the dance step. Because even your enemies know that you are a very good dancer. The madness is you dancing to an unheard music. I watched you. You were dancing. Like That's madness.
Disappointed you too. <laughs> Are you not a woman? Why must you cry for your fellow woman? By the way, where did you say you saw them? By the OG tree. You should go and see them yourself. You should have seen the way Osobia holds her. Out of every association with Adabowele, completely. No. I must not be tempted to set eyes on or have any conversation with her. Amaka, why did you run back here? Why did you run back here? Amaka, you saw your man fondling another woman instead of you to go there and tear her apart. You ran back here. Why? Why, Amaka? You know, I don't think I can do this any longer. <laughs> Also, Piano does not have feelings for me. And what's more, the maiden in question, she seems to be exactly what Ozobialo wants. And I don't want to fight anymore. What? <laughs> Amaka, you are conceding defeat even without fighting? Listen, Amaka, you have my support. Go back there. Let her know that Osobia has someone already. Go! No. I may have your support, but love is a more powerful tool. Love is what I saw between them today, and I'll be so foolish to fight it. <laughs> Osobia, he's happy with her, and I want him to be happy. I will find my own happiness someday. Maybe one name well on Jojo Mimi Njo 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 na bana bana ti Njo 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 mesilisi agwana madu Njo 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 do to a name maybe sino bodo If I nezi zonu werika If I nezi zonu wakaliana Tell me you're not serious. More than serious, Mama. The man that Amarachi brought here the other day is the same man from Umezu. The same man you forbade Aboma from seeing. Okay, he met me first, but I refused to bring him here. And then I warned him to stay away. I just found out Amarachi went behind to bring him here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Amarachi is from this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the man you're telling me of is from Umoizu. So how come they are siblings? Hey! Mama. Mama, they deceived you. Hey! Amarachi. Mama, this is the most heartbreaking bit, oh. Eh? Deceiving an elderly woman like you. Do they want the wrath of the gods to descend on them? Hey, Amarachi, Mama saying that that man is Amarachi's sibling was a way to trick you. Amarachi now sick. One day me will enjoy you, Mimi. Njo, Njo, Njo na wa na wa na ti. Njo, Njo, Njo na sili sa wa na madu. Njo, Njo, Njo do tu ane me bi obo. What is going on here? A woman has gone beyond what I can take. I am either going to kill her or dishonor her. 
What have you been telling my wife? That was a very strong statement you made. If I need to know Today is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> that was what you said the last time we were at my friend's house. Well, I... And that was what you said the first time we were together. Okay, I know. <laughs> Sorry. I just wish I could just squeeze you into me. Uh, you can do that, but just keep me alive while you're doing it because if I'm dead, I cannot dissolve into you. My greatest desire is to wake up every morning with you beside me. I hope you wish so too. If I had my way, I would not return home today. I just want to be with you. You make me happy and your presence refreshes me. Okay, I know we'll see soon. Mother, I have done nothing wrong. I only went after my happiness. Fat your so-called happiness will take you down if you don't stop your stupidity now. Oh, Dali Igwe, then you really have to watch your words. How can you say that to your own child? This thing standing here will cease to be my child if she does not hear and now swear not to see that man again. My greatest desire is to wake up every morning with you beside me. I want my denounce that man or I will denounce you now. Mother, you raised me up to be myself. To always say my mind and how I feel about anything. I'm going to put this straight. If that man comes to ask for my hand in marriage, I will jump at the offer. What? <laughs> I am disappointed in you and I will not pretend about it. I am even more disappointed in you for not giving me the required support. Aboma is only messing up because she knows you will support her. Why won't I support her when you are the person being unreasonable here? I am being unreasonable? Yes! By trying to protect my own child? Protect her? From what? She seems very comfortable with that man. Well, I'm not comfortable with him. And I will never be. Why? Maybe I will understand and give you the support you seek. If you can open up to me. And tell me why you so much despise this man. Even without meeting him. Without knowing him, you've not set your eyes on him. You hated him. Odaliwe, my beautiful Odala. <laughs> Odala, you can always trust me. Hmm? Talk to me about anything. I am your husband. 
I came back yesterday and my brother said you came looking for me. Yes, yes, yes. With an instruction that I should come and see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it all about? When one door closes, another door, uh, sometimes even a better door will open. Can you say you don't know what that means? Listen, Okudere. I came here because of the way my brother sounded. If you have anything to tell me, please say it, because I don't have all the time. <laughs> okay. The news has reached the palace on how you called it quits with Osobia, the overpapered son of Ezu. The prince is moved by that news and he has asked me to bring you to the palace. I don't get it. I... I never had anything to do with the prince. So, why would he tell you to come and bring me? <laughs> Just... Look at yourself. You are one of the lead beauties that we have here in Muezu. Huh? The prince has always wanted you. But your quest, but your quest to end up with Osobel has kept him away. Now that you are back to where he wants you to be, can I please lead you to the palace? <laughs> you are a very beautiful maiden. How can you keep this from me all these years? Ha! Are we even married? Ha! How is a woman supposed to talk about that? Please. Warn you. Stay away from me and anything that concerns me. Did you hear me? Abomba, are you this crazy? You actually came to my heart to abuse and shout at me. I never knew you were a pronounced enemy. How you managed to deceive me all these years is what I cannot tell. You're saying all this to me just because I was trying to save you. Save who? Uzamin, save who? You need to save yourself before even thinking about saving anyone. Hey. And who is this one you brought along? Mm -mm. I am Ujuwa. The same Ujuwa that cannot tolerate your sadism. Uzamin, I have had enough of your jealous interference. Jealous? Me, jealous of you. And why should I be? What is it to be jealous of any? That you're unable to make up your mind on a good suitor? Well, yes, I give it to you. I may have been unable to make up my mind about any man. But you see, I have made up my mind about someone. And if you ever get in my way, I will crush you. Read my lips. Your crush. You know, if I were you, I would get rid of this jealousy and bottled animosity before they actually destroy you.
So, if I didn't send for you, you would have slept at your friend's hut? Papa, did you not hear what Mama said to me? She said she would denounce me if I refused to denounce Ozobiala. So you decided to denounce yourself before she does, eh? I don't know why she acts as if she does not care about me. I don't like it. I cannot handle it. Go inside. Take your dinner. Go to bed. I will talk with you in the morning. Papa, honestly, it is Mama you need to talk to. Because if she fails to understand me, there might not be peace in this house. Go in. Daddy, you were my daughter. I know about your pain. I know about this pain you have harbored all your life. I know how you hate women. Yes, I know. But it is time to let go. Your pain cannot stop this thing. For a woman and that young man are destined to make history. Mother. Mother, was that your voice? Mother. <sighs> that was a dream. That could only happen in a dream. Contrary to what you think, a course led on Ubunko can be reversed. Shut up. All you have to do is to take a white fowl back to the hill and ask the gods of the hill to forgive your offender. No, Martha. Martha, this is not your voice. It can't be your voice, Martha. It's not your voice. Do not stop a woman any longer. For that will be going against the will of the dead. She must be allowed to recreate history with that man of womanism. Mama, well done. You have succeeded in bringing Papa over to your side. Which family in Umwe is that young man from? He's from one of the noble families in Umwe. His father ranks after the king, both in wealth and status. His father is the Ezu of Umwe. Can you ask him to come over and have a talk with us? Huh? Mm -hmm. I, I can do that too. I can do that. I will, I will do that. Hey, I will do that too. Can you explain your action? Why did you speak as if you have finally given your consent? Why Mana reappeared to me last night? Father, I cannot do this alone. I need your support. And you don't have it. I will not support you to marry her. Am I clear enough? That means you do not want my happiness. That means you don't care about me. Ozobialo, if you care for me as your father, you will listen to me and reason with me. But you are being unreasonable, father. Ozobialo, do not use insulting words on me. Or I will call down Amadioha to strike you dead. Is this what you have become? I do not want to talk about this again. I will go ahead and marry her in the with or without your support. Brother, me. Beyond the limit, I will take as your father. You also be able. You will know why they call me the zoo of this kingdom. How can you? How 
Can you restrict me from being with a girl and not give me a reason? Not even one. Go ahead and marry her. The man that is standing here is your Fumwe. I am a great man of this land, second in command to the king of Fumwe. Who are you to stand on this path that leads to my king as A man that has vowed to spend all his life covering the sin he has committed out of exuberance to not talk of Ikenga, for Ikenga is a symbol of holiness. I do not get you. What are you saying? You cannot live with the consequences of your youthful exuberance all your life, especially when it's affecting the joy of the one you love. Who are you? And what are you talking about? I am Juan Emanari, the one that sent your son to the maiden of Idabowe. The same maiden that you raped the mother years ago. What? How did you do that? She's willing to forgive you. Take a cow, go to her and ask for forgiveness. It will end it all. The children must be allowed to create history and nobody should stop them. This is the only opportunity to repair the errors of the past. <laughs> Should I just go in? What if his father is in? Who are you? My name is Abomma. I'm here to see Ozobial. Are you okay? I saw a man I presume is your father. Serious? Did he say anything to you? No, nothing to worry about. My mother wants to see you. I think she's going to change her mind. Why? Why what? She asked me where you're from. I told her and she said she wants to have a talk with you. Why are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? D depends. I mean... I hope this call is for good, because I don't want trouble, though. I never really thought about that, but I, I think it's for good, because she says she wants to see you. Don't worry, okay? If it will be any consolation, I will be with you all through. Besides, my mother cannot harm me. So let's go. I investigated him after he molested me. And I was able to find out that he's from the same family that have caged the heart of my daughter. I am confused with a lot of things here. If the family of this man that molested you is the same family that now desires our daughter as wife, then why did you send our daughter to go and bring the young man? Have you forgotten the encounter I had with my late mother? What nonsense encounter? Ha! Me, Moji. Respect the dead. 
my mother didn't leave her resting place for nothing. Besides, I've decided to give two hands friends. No, you will not. Not as long as you live under my roof. The imbecile that had the audacity to molest a maiden of this land must experience the brutality of a warrior. What you will do now is turn around and leave. And never get close to my daughter again. Mother, what is going on? Is this why you asked me to bring Kozobial? I will never allow the son of a rapist to marry my daughter. If rape means nothing to you people who name ways, rape is a serious crime in Adabowale. And the warriors of this land do not tolerate rapists. You, father, how could you be this inhuman and callous? Don't talk to me like that, Mr. I will talk to you anyhow I deem fit, for you deserve no respect. Not from me, not from anyone. Oh, is that so? Yes! How do I even call you my father? How can my father be this wicked and callous? To think you did that to that innocent woman and you had the guts to deny me my happiness? I do not know what those people have fed you with. Be sure you will come back to your senses. And when you do, you will regret every word you have uttered today. You cannot even deny it, for you know what you have done. It is the same reason you refused to give me your blessings to be with Aboma. You raped that woman in the past, and she laid a curse on you. Ozebelo, you have gone mad. You are a total disgrace and disappointment to me. Strangers fed you with abominable lies against your father. What did you do? Did you bother to challenge them? Did you fight for your own father? No! All you did was to come back here and abuse me. Don't deny it, father. Deny it. Deny it is not the reason you barred me from being with her. Deny you're not the same man from Umezu. That woman placed the cross on. Deny it, father, and I will go right there and defend you even with the last drop of blood in me. Now get out of my sight. Oh! Livia, you will not deny it because you know the truth. I regret coming out from your loins. Now I have the stigma of the son of a rapist hanging on my neck forever. Thank you. Njo, njo, njo do tuwa ne me bi sino obodo If I ne zezo nu we rikao If I ne zezo nu wa kaliana why were you hiding it from me? You should have told me. You should have let me know. Agoma, I had no intentions of letting you know. Why? If not that your father angrily spat it out, I wouldn't have told you. Why? Would you rather torment me by not allowing me to see Ozobial? Is without reasons. Is that is that what you want? I am a mother. And no good mother will want her child to know that about her. Besides, when the child is still truly in love with the son of the man in question. You believe me now. You believe I love Osobiel. I know. I've always known that you truly love him. Every good mother can tell about her child, male or female. And he loves you too. I could see it in his eyes. Your grandmother appeared to me in my dream. She said a lot about you. She did? Yes. What did she say? Was she the one that taught us all the Did she send him to me? I may not be able to answer those questions. But what I can tell you is that there is still solution if you still want to be with us all There is hope. Okay? I said you are a liar. If there is any solution you think you have, my daughter has nothing to do with that young man. Never! 
Nobody should tell me. A rapist must always be get a rapist. It flows in the blood. Yeah, one more. Ada abankeke. Ala hito gerebo. All these years, people have been on my neck to make a choice. Some even call me names for not being able to make a choice of a husband. Abama, please, don't go that way. But it's the truth. They called me names. Even the one I call my friend said I'm possessed by an evil spirit, all because I failed to make a choice of a husband. Now that I have seen the one my heart beats for, forces are against us. I have a friend named EJ. She's from Anido, land of gold. She has mingled all her life with all the goldsmiths in Anido. She told me something that actually rings a bell in my head now. She said her gold is tested by fire. I understand you, my friend. But is it this type? This kind of fire? Juma is too much. It is just too much. The man molested my mother. Do you know what that means? Bad as it sounds, he did not molest your mother. She was not your mother then. He molested a maiden from Adagowe who finally became your mother. Listen, I need you to always remember that people of all walks of life do make mistakes. And this is one of them. Indeed. Mistakes. An act of wickedness is not a mistake, Ujuma. So? Are you going to give up on Ozob Yadu now because of something his father did years ago, even before he was born? Are you? If you do that, then you lied about your feelings for him. And that is not fair, my friend. That is not fair. I'm not giving up. I am not in this alone. I am not going to stop fighting, but who am I fighting with? He has not even bothered to ask of me after he learned about what his father did to my mother. What does that imply? I need you to know that he is the worst for all this. Yes, I know that. No, tell me. Put yourself in his shoes and tell me exactly what you will do in a situation like this. Abu, my friend, you need to reach out to him. And don't forget, he is not the offender. And most importantly, he loves you. Oh. To a fight or something. No, I'm, I'm okay. How are you? Not exactly. How are you? You cannot stop me. Not anymore. I have made up my mind on this meeting and that is how it stands. Do not stand before me and speak like someone in authority. You are still my son. And that son of yours has his life to live. I am not saying you must not live your life. But you must understand something, Osobiano. Those people are evil. All they want is to destroy your relationship with me, your father. Fair enough, father. Let's assume that be the case. But the question is, why would they want to do that? You haven't even denied what you are accused of. So in essence, you are the one who is trying to destroy the so-called father-son relationship. Osobiano, all I want you to do is to stop every association with them. Cut it off. And considering what I now know about you as a rapist, you think you have the moral standing to tell me what to do? I am still your father. The Ezu of this kingdom! Oh, spare me all that rubbish! You are simply a crude molester. That is the tip of the iceberg. Of what I can do, physically. If you do not come back to your senses, I can as well go spiritual. Do not say, you do not know. What I can do!
to saw Biala. I can't believe this. What, what happened? You got into a fight with your father. I did not fight my father. Just that I couldn't sit back and, and, and watch him pretend to guide me when he has no moral justification to do that. No matter what, he is still your father. My father? My father cannot be that wicked. My father cannot be that mean. He can't have such a dark past and yet pretend to, to, to be good and want to ruin my own happiness. We all make mistakes and deserve to be forgiven. Forgiveness is given to an offender who has accepted the offense. He hasn't even accepted his mistakes. But that is who we are. That is who we are. What if the offender does not realize he has made a mistake? What if he does not ask for forgiveness? Do we now live with the burden of unforgiveness the rest of our lives? What do you want? Do you want to fight your father or fight for our love? I shouldn't be here, but I had to come David, because... It's okay. It's okay. I would have come early. But I didn't want you to see this. Well, I've seen it and I... kind of like you with the swollen mouth. <laughs> Is this hog actually meant for me? For me? Yes. No, I don't think so. I think it is originally meant for the one that makes your heart beat. <laughs> know it here today that my heart also beats for you. Thank you for everything you have been to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, let's just sit down yes. now. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you again. Where are you coming from? I was with Ujumwa. Jamada was there twice. And I'm just coming back from there. So are you going to tell me the truth now? Abuma, when did you start keeping late nights? And you now tell us lies? I went to Umwez. You went to Umwez? To do what? I was with Ozodia. Hey! You put your life at risk. Crossing that deadly boundary at this hour of the night. Because of that useless son of a rapist. Father, he's not a rapist. He's a gentleman. Please do not punish him for a crime he knows nothing about. It's his father that is the offender. I may not know much about our deities, but I know that Ngenen Nebaka forbids us from punishing other people for crimes they know nothing about. Shut up! What do you know? What right have you to remind me of the rules of Ngenen Nebaka? I'm sorry, Papa. I was only trying to make a point. Abuma, you got us all worried. <laughs> you didn't have to come back home late. Not for anyone, and definitely not for anything. I'm sorry, my mother. I'm sorry for making you worry over nothing. I am home and safe. Also, Bialu is a gentleman. And he brought me home safely. What did you say? That that boy came back here after all my warnings to both of you? Aboma, you are not going to dare me. Father. If you choose to stay on the other side, then I will see you as an enemy of my happiness. Also, Bial is a gentleman. He has not done anything wrong. It is his father that is your offender. And for that, I will continue to be with him. Not while I'm still alive. I will not allow you to get that foolish. Never! Then it will happen in your absence. The most important thing is that it will happen. Good night. I want my... I want my... I know you're loyal to Abomma, and you cannot betray her. I mean, this thing is getting out of hand. Please, I, I need you to tell us what you know. Hey, mm, am I lying to you? 
I don't know where she is. I've not seen her woman in the past two days. Oh, what you been saying this for the past two days since we started searching for her? Eh? That's the truth now. That's all that I know. Does it look like she has gone to Moise to stay with Ozobia? Well, that could have been possible, but I'm not sure that Ozobia and his father will welcome her grandma. Just like you and Naomi and Boji. It's why her son never to ever set his eyes on her grandma. What? That man is acting as if he has a lot of choices. What's that? Me, Biko. If you ask me, I think you should let her grandma be. She loves Ozobia so much. If, if I if I'm permitted to say, Ozobial is a very good man. He is harmless. Oh, Biko. But what is important is for us to find her. We can't do anything except to see her. Yes. C can you tell me where she is? We need to find her, please. Biko. Me. I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. I don't know where she is. Is you okay? You don't know where she is. Yes, ma'am. Men can stop all things. Women can push men into anything. But when you see love, stand aside, you can watch. Love can push down all things. This love is a mystery. Oh, this is the song of love. Love has never seen You see the song of love This love is a mystery This love can move mountains This love can heal our wounds This love can create our peace I can no longer pretend that I am fine for two days now, he has been nowhere around. No! I must not lose my only son. It is time. I must end it. Once and for all. You are actually the one causing this confusion in my life. She is willing to forgive you. Take a cow, go to her, and ask for forgiveness. It will end it all. The children must be allowed to create history, and nobody should stop them. I must end all this. I will not lose my son. Ujumwa, me, I am not leaving this place. Agwama, you cannot continue to remain insensitive. Insensitive? Would they be insensitive when they refuse to care about how I felt? I think they do now. Really? You don't know those people? I know them. So what is your plan? To remain here forever and inconvenience an old woman? Is that it? Hey, hey. Ozobialo's grandmother is not complaining. She is ready to have us here till forever and a day if possible. Why are you looking at me? Is it not true? It's true. It's true. It's just that we can't be here forever anymore. Mm -hmm. Are you getting tired already? I'm not getting tired. Remember our reason for leaving home? It's to stay out a while so that they can miss us, feel our absence and then reconsider. Two days is too short. It is too short. I will stay here until no, till when? Until when your mother dies of heartbreak? Is that it? Eh? Mine is I don't even know what my father feels at this point. Whether he's happy I left or he's sad. I need to know his state of mind before I can go back. Ozobial. I don't know how to go about that. But I'm sure that I will find out something soon. Meanwhile, I need both of you to start getting ready to go back home. I guess you are happy now. So where is the warrior? I want my ears gone and I don't even know if she's alright. I don't see why you should be blaming me here. I'm only trying to protect her. You did same some time before. 
I'm only trying to be supportive here. I already told you what my mother said in my dream. Why don't you allow me to go and do this and free our daughter? As a fool from whom we ask for forgiveness. I don't need to wait for him to come. I don't need that. You want to forgive him? Even when he is not yet sorry? Nah, no, you don't do that. I am going to forgive him, not because of him. I will forgive him because of the hand the unforgiveness has done to me over the years. I want to set myself free. I want to set our children free. Also, I want my desire to be happy. I am going to Ogunko right now. I want to go and do what my mother said I should do. And please do not stop me any longer. Daligwa, come back here. Forgiveness has a process. The rule. The sinner must first confess his sins, repent of them, before forgiving him. This man has not asked for forgiveness. Therefore, you should not forgive him. Never. Am I clear on that? Uzomi, have you no shame? You mean he actually followed me all the way from Adagoe? Eh? Everyone knows that I'm one my space. And my instinct tells me that you, Ujunwa, knows her whereabouts. Yeah. So I followed your movements. So you actually came to satisfy your curiosity. Hmm? And I'm satisfied. Satisfied wrong. Stop wasting your time. See, see, Ujunwa. I saw everything. I saw you with Aboma and Ozobiala. And I know this is Ozobiala's maternal home. Uzo. No one must know about this. They don't want anybody, especially their parents, to know where they are. Oh? How could you be this heartless? A woman's mother is dying. And she came to you to ask you the whereabouts of her daughter and you denied it. Now you want me to keep it to myself. Mm -mm. I am going to spill. I am going to tell her everything. I know how hard it is for you to be loyal. But let me tell you something. I think this is an opportunity for you to make up for all the wrongs you've done to Aboma. Or don't you think so? You actually have a point. Exactly. So, how can I be of help? There's actually something you can do. Come. Who is that maiden you talk about? I did not get her name, but she says she's from Adagore. And she knows the whereabouts of my son? Yes, she said Ozobia has vowed never to come back until she said a word to him and blessed his marriage with the maiden from Adagore. Come, how authentic is this message? The maiden sounded so convincing. I think it's Ozobia that sent her. Well, if that is the way it should go, then it is time to act. How do you reach her? Come, how do you reach her? She says she will come back tomorrow for feedback. Well then, let her tell my son that I missed him and I will do anything to bring him back. Let her tell him that I will give my blessings 
for him to marry any woman he wishes to. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Mother, if you actually appeared to me in my dream, then protect me on this journey. All I want to do is to free my heart and see my daughter happy. Uh, Uju, you know where my daughter is. I am certain about that. No, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. You don't have to continue lying to me. You can as well keep quiet. Okay? You see this virgin cock? It's a solution to all the problems. To all the obstacles stopping us all and our woman. Yes. I am going to move up with this. And once I get to the place, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. I will be on my way now. Please, tell Aboma to come back. As soon as she comes back, everything will be settled. Mm -hmm. Oh? Nee, by that you mean Aboma can marry us up, Yadu? Oju, you know the answer to that question. Or just stop swearing. Stop swearing. At least I don't want you dead yet. I swear again, I did not tell anyone at Woma's whereabouts. I haven't even seen Udaliwe since the last time I saw you. Uchuma. Uchuma, don't you trust me? As if it is easy to trust you. Anyway, that's by the way. Your trip to Umwezu, how was it? <laughs> I was on my way to your hut before you came. I met the maiden and she gave me the message from Ozobialo's father. Tell me, is it a good one? <laughs> positive. Very, very positive. He said he could kill just to see his son happy. Kill? You say it's a good message. What is positive about killing? Um, um, no, 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 no. Not that type of killing. No. He, he, he said he's ready to give his blessings to him and the bomba. Yes. <laughs> it worked. Yes. <laughs> I must see a bomba and a zobialu right now. Uh, uh, can, can I come with you? Not yet. I thought I had already paid the price. I thought I had already paid the price. It's not fair. On this very hill, that woman laid a silly course on me. And on this same hill, I will bring to an end those that want to take my son away from me. The forces of Ugunkwa that made Ugunkwa the most sacred hill in this part of Igbo land. Strike them. Strike them. Strike them forever and bring back my son. Strike them. Strike them. Tonight, I will send my Okwodo. I need you to join forces with it and end Odalibwe and her daughter Aboma and bring back my son. Ezu, 
Is this a forgiveness that my mother said that you come to ask for? Where have you been? Where I have been is not important, Papa. Really? Where are you coming from? Mama. Hey. Eh? Mama. What is wrong? After I made it clear that you should not go there. How dare you undermine women both your father boy? Well, hey! I, I, I had to do what I had to do. Uh, that was the only option left for me. How was I supposed to know that Ezu was planning a, another evil against me? I decided to let the first one slide back because then I had not married you. But now I'm going to place him where he belongs. Let the girls fight for us, Biko. I am a warrior of Adabowa. I'm going to start this war. Let the girls tell me. Let me. How did that fool attempt to kill my daughter, my wife? Eh? I'm going to pay him a visit. I'll pay him a visit. Mama, are you sure of this? Or is this a trick to bring me home and to convince me more not to marry us of you? Mama. Are you not going to stop him? But I can't. He has his gun. Aguma, he's wearing all, all, all the war charms of warriors of this land. I can't stop him. It will be a sacrilege even for me to attempt to talk to him. Hey! You did your part, my child. You made me happy. And I am impressed. Leave the offender to face his wounds. That's the voice of my mother. Yes. She she's no longer angry with me. What did she say? Mwami <laughs> fena That 
this is a bottle. The same Okwadu you told me is no longer a method, but a charm that can cut anybody no matter where they are. What are you doing with it? You have no right to ask me anything! For you, I disobedient child! So what do you want to do, Father? To kill me? You want to kill me with Okwadu because I fell in love with the maiden from Adabowale? Go ahead, Father! Go ahead and kill me, Father! I won't leave her! I would rather die by my father's hand than leave that maiden. Because I cannot imagine or experience a life without her. I am not a fool. To kill my only son, my only child, and become childless. I will send my Okwadu to cut that woman that has come to steal my son. The madness in his eyes will clear when those fools are gone. What? She is willing to forgive you. Take a cow to her and ask her for forgiveness. That will end everything. These children must be allowed to create history. Nobody can stop them. This is your only opportunity to repair the errors of your past. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth, you lousy woman of Adabowere! Who are you? Who are you to advise me to take a cow? Woman. I am the Ezu of Umwes. I will end it my way. What are you doing? Are you losing your mind? Why are you talking to the air? It is now or never. You have done it before. You can do it again. Call the gates of brass and bars of iron and destroy the women that are planning to destroy me by destroying my son. to Daliugwe and her daughter. Tell them I regret my actions. I wish I've done the right thing. Father, uh, were they the ones you planned to send the sword that came back to you too? Maria Boma, if she makes you happy, I'll give you my blessings. Father, father, father. <sighs> what is this that is spreading everywhere? That Ezu, our own Ezu, died and you and some other stupid young men gathered and buried him in Ebony. Don't you know that it's evil to bury a honorable man in a dishonorable way? Eh? What kind of audience, audience burial is that? Yes, sir. No masculine, not even gunshot. What kind of useless urgent burial is that? To civil, yes, sir. Listen, you are wrong to say that he died. Ezu did not die for he was killed by our ancestors. For indeed, he was an evil man. What are you saying? I, 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 can, I can confirm to you that your sense have trouble. I am talking about our own Esu. Esu of whom Esu? The second in command to the king. And why are you calling him an evil man? Uh, listen to what? There are too many things that you don't know about our tradition. Because you have not been mingling with the elders in council. Uh, 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 okay. Are you now one of the elders? And what are those things you believe you know in this small head that I don't know? Hey, hey, hey. If you want to talk to me, you talk to me with, with respect. What's the song with you? Yeah? We can tolerate all things here in Umuizu. But what we can never tolerate is charms. A 
man that was killed by his own charm must be buried immediately so that his evil charms will not spread in the land. Do you want to die? Uh, oh, oh. Huh? Uh, 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 um. Are you now telling me that our own Ezu died by his own charm? Right before that is of a bad, bad idiot, Ozo Bialo. The time he wanted to send to some innocent people in Adabo Wale, returned back immediately and get him, and immediately we buried him. Eh? Uh, 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 in that case, you people did well. Oh. Hi. Uh, come, let me go and give you a drink. Eh? Let's go. Let's get that uh, 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 I am all, I am all. Not for one day. Abuma, his father died as a result of an attempt to kill us. And you still want to marry him? Mother, Osobial is not his father. He's different from his father. We cannot continue to undermine Ngenen Nebaka by making endless efforts to punish Osobial for his father's sins. It is wrong and we all know that. He apologized before he died. That happened before me, like I told you already. That alone made me forgive him. Am I wearing the wrong attire? No. But you are the wrong place. Who invited you? Really? After all my inputs. Imputes? You mean your failed imputes at tearing Ozobial and I apart, is that it? Ujumwa, did you take the credit? Well, I forgot to tell her. Agwoma, Uzomili offered to help. She did that to right the wrongs she did to you. She was actually the one who went to Muizu to talk to Ozobialo's father. And it was a risky one at that. But anything to get your forgiveness. And I hope I have it now. This is the song of love. It's love has never seen. This is the song of love. <laughs> so... Where can I be of help? This love can move.
Awama, my daughter. I'm joining you in marriage today to the man of your dreams. That is not why I am excited. I am excited because your marriage is a mystery. The ancestors of our land have through one in Manari decided to bring back what was lost. Today, Egwejile has reincarnated in you. And I pray that you will rise to be above all women that ever performed the wager. Yeah. Ego, 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 
Ebu ne dosa 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 ebu